Alright, today I am super excited. I get to try the Mono Photography Hide. I finally got my hands on this. I've been given this photography hide and I'm gonna do a quick review on it here on this channel. I've set the hide up in the garden before just to try it out. It's a pretty quick setup. It took me a couple of minutes to get the main bit of it set up. A little bit of trouble with the windows. It has six different windows that you can shoot out of. So plenty of options. And so far it seems like a great hide. Now though, I'm gonna take it down to a location where I wanna put it for the next couple of weeks and we shall be going back to pretty much every day to try and capture some wildlife. Now you might be wondering where I am. I am in an absolutely fantastic location. Ahead of me here, a couple of miles, is Loch Ness. The Scottish Highlands and the wildlife here is absolutely amazing. If you stick around to the end of this video, and I'll show you where I put this hide and why I've chosen this location for the hide. I've been given this hide, but I will give my honest first opinion of it. So, let's go. longer than last time but I'm gonna leave it up there for who knows possibly a couple of weeks at least for a few days so I want to strap it in well the rain cover takes about a few more minutes maybe five minutes to get the tent pulled in and get it standing up but other than that it's fairly quick to get up come with me and I'll show you around it now one of the great things about this height is that it's spacious I am about 185 centimeters Come on in, and I can lie straight down in it. I could sleep in here if I want to. Right, so I mentioned that. So I mentioned this hide is really quick to get up. One thing that's not that quick is getting these windows attached. And there are six holes that you can shoot out of, and also six bottom holes that you can, if you want to shoot low to the ground. Now these, it didn't, it took a little bit of research, a little bit of experimentation, and I got it eventually, but it would be good if there were some instructions on how to put on the windows. Thing is though, they're quite adaptive. A lot of them are differently set up. There's a mesh and a slip behind one of them, a cover, one of them just has a rain cover, so let's have a look. options of setting these windows up exactly how you want to so it takes a little bit of time to get them up the first time but once they're up 
they're off. As I set this up in the garden, I've had the windows attached the whole time, and now they're ready to go when I'm down here where I want to be. So along with these top windows, you can see here, I got the rain cover on. Also have a bottom slit where I can go shoot low to the ground if I want to. That's that's really good for me. I used to have a, like a chair hide and not only is it quite cramped in there, there's not a lot of room inside the chair hide, you, but you can't lie down, you can go low to the ground and you only have the one view in front of you at least point your camera out. So this one here, I mean, you could be two people in here, comfier if you're one. And like I said, you have six windows to shoot from up and down. Now, some of the things that I would like to talk about is, you know, how waterproof is it? How durable it is? This material feels quite strong. It feels stronger than the chair hides that I used to have, which with heavy usage would last about one year. That was doing bird surveys in Northern Scotland though, and we would use it continually for weeks on end. This stuff feels strong and yeah, the waterproof cover, we'll just have to see and I'll do a follow up video after I use it for a bit and to see how I get on. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to share with you guys why I put the hide up here. And this is quite good to get some local experience. Now, I'm not from here, but the person who lives here, I've talked to some people who live here and they said that this lock has otters and there's badger sets around. There's also secret deers roaming about here. And when I had a walk around this lock, I found this area. And it has a dry stone wall going all the way down to the water. And there's a little bit of a gap here. It's well, well used paths and most mammals will, you know, like us, they will take easy paths. They won't carve a new path every time they walk. So there's a very good chance that they are using this path regularly. So I'm hoping for deer to come around, deer to come around here, possibly even some other things like otters and badgers. There's a possibility of pine martens here. And I also have a little rock over here, which I was thinking I might go out and get some fresh roadkill to put on there and try and get some birds of prey or you know, red kites or buzzards to come and feed right over here. Now the lock behind me is very interesting as well. Come over here, I got one big entrance of the hide pointing right out towards the lock. As you can see behind me, and there's a good chance an otter could come by here, and there's also a chance of birds on this lock. And I position the hide so that I can use the front entrance and the side entrance to photograph the stone wall over here. And I got a side, two side entrances here. I want to go for the rock over there where I might put some um, some bait out for some birds of prey and I've got the back entrance towards the lock so I should cover all my bases. here we'll get used to it and not bothered by it so when I come back down here the idea is it's just part of the environment they're not gonna care thank you very much for watching this episode and join me next time for when I actually go back into the hide for some wildlife photography really appreciate you watching this episode please consider subscribing and give it a like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. I'll try to walk a little bit stealthily back up and in the hopes that I see some wildlife. Okay, I literally just said that and there's deer right on the other side of this.